There is no better seasoned wood than this piece here. Stay tuned and discover how old it is and why. Hello, hello, back again. This is Edgar from Cremona, Italy, and I make the best instruments with the best seasoned wood from the world. This here seems wood like all the other wood here, but this one is the best seasoned wood I ever had in my life, and I think there is no other wood which is more seasoned than this one. Now, in violin making, there is this big myth and everybody, even if they don't play the violin, even if they don't know anything about violins, they know about the secret of the varnish and then how important it is to use well-seasoned wood. Big part of it is actually that it's not very nice if you get a newborn instrument and then within a one, two, three months or years, the neck and the scroll is yeah, just turning around a little bit like this. That's not something you really would appreciate, right? For sure, it's good that the wood is well seasoned, so it's rather stable. But on the other side, certainly wood is moving. So when I started to make violins, we are talking about the 80s. Everybody was dreaming of getting a well seasoned wood to work with it. And we all took it for granted that you need to see well-seasoned wood. But only at the time you start to work with it, actually you can tell the truth. You immediately feel the responding of the wood, how it is cut, the chips, how it sounds. By touching all by yourself, only you cannot tell how old it is. Or if it was even in an oven or something artificially dried. If it's artificially dried, it's a little bit like papers to work with. And that isn't something we in violin making really really appreciate for sure that's good to have nice wood you have to be sure that the wood you use is also well seasoned and you never trust anybody it's the best way to be sure that what you use is what you really think you're using so the best thing is to buy fresh wood then the years go by but when you're a youngster you have the impression that years will never go by. When people say, you see immediately the difference, I have to show you one. Which one of the two pieces is better seasoned? You would say this one. Not correct, they're both the same, you know? It was just a different location at my house outside of town where I stole my wood, but they're both the same age, you know? And wood dealers, they have all kinds of nice tricks to make it look even older. I bought my wood pretty early in my beginning of my career. My father gave me at that time like 10,000 German marks. It was just like a huge amount. So I went down with my Ford Fiesta all the way up to Germany. There was Lorenz, the father Lorenz, and he had his best woods he had there. And there I chose for the whole day until five o'clock in the afternoon. And then he came up and was so well, Mr. Russ, and I went back to Austria. My father, so Edgar, what did you bring home for 10,000 marks? And I opened my Ford Fiesta, I looked inside and that's all, it was just yeah, maybe two cellos and uh, of course a few violins, but not so much, you know. Probably the best wood I've ever had in my life. But so I immediately, from the very beginning, I experienced how expensive it is to have well-seasoned wood. Nowadays, things have changed a little bit, at least for me. I just, from the very beginning, I tried to buy big quantities of fresh wood and small quantities of seasoned wood in order that I work all the time with seasoned wood. All this nice story to tell you that recently, we are talking about recently in violin making is like 15 years ago, people discovered that Stradivari worked actually with fresh wood. And I told already in one of my videos, but they used rather fresh wood and built their instruments. I don't want now to say we have to work with fresh wood. Wood is seasoning and then you certainly, most of the time you will work with seasoned woods. And especially in the beginning, it's a little bit of pain that you don't get this wood for a cheaper price. The piece of I showed you in the beginning looks not very fancy, right? There was a business owner from Italy. He showed up. He told me, you know, Mr. Russ, I have a specific wood here. I contacted already other makers here in town. Nobody wants me to make an instrument out of it. This is for me just like a no-go because if somebody wants something, I'm here to realize your dream, right? And then we talk about it. So he arrived here and he told me that this is wood from New Zealand. Kauri is this wood. There were 
huge trees underneath the, the earth. They took them out. They made a lot of interesting things out of it. So I asked him if you can have a different cut of it. And we met later on again. And after all, then I made two instruments. One he paid and the other one I gave for charity. It is pretty interesting because this wood is approved by the University of Rome, I think for physics. And they measured the carbon. It's 48 thousand years 48 thousand years ago this here is this wood it, it doesn't look really fancy so i'm still thinking of how i would do some decorations and things like this working with this wood was interesting because it's very very brittle you can work it like real wood as long as you go with the grain as soon as you go 90 degrees to the grain it becomes like cement i forgot to tell you if you want a nice set to build your own instrument. I have also entire kit of well-seasoned wood and you can build your instrument with a great seasoned, with a set of well-seasoned wood for violins. So in conclusion, we could say that every violin built with seasoned or not seasoned wood is seasoning anyhow. So it's only a question about the first 10, 20, 30 years where it might make a difference. Do you think this difference is huge? Does it really make such a big difference? How do you think about that Strad used fresh wood and Guarnieri and Damati? Let me know your comment below. And of course, thanks for subscribing since you're already subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, you should feel ashamed in this very moment. Subscribe, make me happy, and we see us next time again. Have fun. Ciao, ciao. Tell your friends. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.